What is up, my peepholes? This is your guy, Kali, and welcome back to Budget Buys. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different from the norm in that I'm not so much talking about a piece of tech, but more so a piece of tech storage. This little guy right here. Now, the reason I picked this up is because I recently bought a new mic to use on my coming podcast, and I cannot stand the storage solution that they shipped with it. Now, the mic in question is the Audio-Technica 2020. Don't worry, I'll be doing a full review on this at a later date. And the storage solution that they included is a standard Audio-Technica mic bag. Now, I can't stand this thing, but I do seem to be alone in my opinion when it comes to a lot of the reviews that I've seen online. It's just, I don't trust this with a delicate piece of equipment. Yes, it will protect your mic from scuffs and scratches, but if you're clumsy like me, you're going to end up taking this on the road with you and potentially dropping the mic while it's in the bag, which can lead to a dented mic or, at worst, dislodged components. Or, worst case scenario, you're going to have something fall on top of the bag and squish goes the microphone. Not exactly a good day. And of course, if you drop this in a body of water for some reason, it's just going to sink. Now, admittedly, they have improved the bags because I also have one of their older bags that came with the AT822 that I thrifted a while back for five bucks. And it seems like they've doubled or so the amount of padding that's inside the bag. And if you're wondering why it's bulgy despite the fact that my mic is over here, that's because I am using it to store a Samsung Q2U that I also need to review at a later date. Now, this little guy is the Apache 1800 that I picked up at Harbor Freight for a whopping 15 bucks before the coupon. I had a 20% off coupon because Harbor Freight always offers a 20% off coupon. So this actually only cost me $12. That's a big score in its favor. Even better is the fact that I actually spent a lot of time looking for a case on Amazon. I stumbled across this one on accident, actually. And... A slightly better version of the mic bag will cost me 20 bucks, and that just means it's a little bit more rigid, has a bit more padding inside, nothing special. If I want to get something more custom fit to the mic, it will cost me about 30. And if I want to get something akin to this, I could go with the thing that this is actually ripping off, the Pelican 1120, which goes anywhere from 30 to 45 dollars online. Now, let me show you what makes this special. I'll just flip it around right now. Pop it open. There we go. You'll notice that I have a nice cavity that is the exact same shape as my new microphone. And that's because this case uses three layers of what's called pluck foam. I'll go ahead and just take the first layer out. And what pluck foam is, it's a pre-serrated foam that you just pull the little individual squares out and you end up with a cavity that is the exact size you need or at least a close proximity. I want to say that it's really really awesome that this uses three layers because a lot of the cases that I found online for the microphone tend to just use a single layer so you're going to have this entire cavity filled with just one single piece of pluck foam and I've seen so many reviews talking about how they had to break out a utility knife in order to make their cavity that it's not even funny. So the fact that this uses three individual thinner layers of foam, that's really good in my book. It also means that I don't have to have the cavity go all the way to the bottom pad. Instead, I can just stop one above, which gives me a nice little level surface as opposed to having to dig down deep in order to get my microphone out. Also, if you haven't noticed, this is using a nice silicone gasket, which means it is at least pretending to be watertight. I admittedly haven't tested it, but with how strong the latches are when it comes to closing this thing down, I'm going to say it probably will prevent water from getting in, assuming the pressure release on the front is fully operational. Speaking of the pressure release, that is the big difference between this and the Pelican version because while Pelican uses a valve, which means every bit of the mechanism is on the outside minus the part that penetrates the case, this not so much. 
Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. What this uses is just a bolt with a thumb screw attachment on here, as well as a gasket. So it does stop air from getting in out, same with water. But because it's a bolt, it does penetrate the case a little bit. Let me just go ahead and bring this in. And you'll notice a little locking ring. That keeps it from coming all the way out. So you can open it all the way, close it all the way. You don't have to worry about losing your bolt. So that's good, but don't store anything that you don't want to get scratched at the far edge over here. So if I had my foam like this, a bump means bad day for my microphone. Due to the fact that I have it like this, not so much. Also, if you're wondering, I did intentionally not center the microphone in here because I left a little room for either a small mic stand or some cables in the near future. Now, don't get too hung up on that bolt because if you wanted to, you could remove the locking ring, the little locking ring right here, take the bolts all the way out, and then you've got a nice little metal reinforced threaded hole that you can apply your own valve to. And a valve to replace this would maybe at most cost you $5. So you can get the case for 12 after coupon, get the valve for $5 and you're out 17 bucks as opposed to 30 to 45. I'd still say it's a win in my book. Even better, this is the smallest of the cases available from Apache, the 1800. They also have the 2800 and the 3800. Each one is an equivalent to a different Pelican model, and each one seems to be between 30 to 50% off of the, or no, between 30 and 50% of, not so much off, the price of the Pelican models. So keep that in mind if you have any Harbor Freight locations near you and you need a case for something. Now, before I go, I wanna try a little experiment. I've noticed if I use the word podcast in a video or the description of a video or the keywords of a video or basically anywhere in my metadata, the video gets flagged as not potentially suitable for all advertisers for the first day. It does eventually swap back, but it really only seems to affect the videos where I say podcast. So I'm going to be saying podcast a few more times. I'm going to be inserting podcast into my description. And of course, I'm going to be inserting podcast into my keywords. I think I've said the word podcast enough, and if you're not already excited about the fact that I have a podcast coming, well, you should be. Anyway, that's that experiment, that's this case, and I want to go ahead and say, until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.